Good morning. This is Mike Switzer with the South Carolina Business Review. Many of you have heard our interviews with SCORE and some of the business success stories they have helped with. SCORE, if you don't know, is the volunteer free small business counseling service of the Small Business Administration, made up mostly of retired business executives. This month, our SCORE success story involves a company that operates several video camera crews that got its start during the Atlanta Olympics. Patrick Bryant is with GoToTeam. He joins us now from his company's headquarters in Charleston. Patrick, good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about GoToTeam. Well, GoToTeam was founded in 1997, and we provide video production services to lots of broadcast organizations as well as corporate clients, uh, UPS, Microsoft. But we, we do a lot of specialty work for broadcast clients like Fox Sports and NBC News. And do you have helicopters, too? We do not. We've certainly shot out of helicopters many, many times. Uh, but uh, So we, you'll just rent one? Exactly. We, we rent them. So the helicopter crash involving news crews not too long ago it was kind of scary for you, too? Absolutely. Uh, we're always concerned with safety of our crews and every other crew. Our, our crews have been in Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, Africa. Uh, we were over covering the tsunami. We get in a lot of places that, that can be really sticky, and uh, safety is a number one concern. And talk about what kind of video work you do for your corporate clients. It depends on the client. Uh, it, like at a UPS or a Microsoft, they're going to have an in-house system or an MUSC here in Charleston. They're going to have an in-house setup that is providing a lot of their video support. They use us as a subcontractor to shoot pieces that maybe we're closer to if they need something specifically in Columbia or Fort Mill or Charleston, and they can use us to go shoot the video, ship it back to them, get the quality that they need, but not necessarily have to pay the travel of moving one of their people in. And then on another case, corporate clients will come to us with a full package, your average eight-minute video for sales or training purposes. And then in that case, the corporation says, okay, we want you to produce and edit this entire piece. So it, it really comes down to what the client needs to do. And talk about your involvement with SCORE. How did you uh, uh, seek their assistance? I absolutely love the SCORE organization. I'm a counselor as well. Uh, after we got our first funding from the SBA back in 97, uh, I felt real strongly about the SBA and helping people start businesses. And so I got involved with SCORE. But then I also have used SCORE as a resource in running my business. One of the things I needed to do three years ago now was sell some of our stock to some of our employees that were working for the company at the time. We just felt like it was a positive thing for our business to move forward in letting our employees be involved in holding an equity position. And so I communicated with a bunch of the SCORE counselors, told them what I was thinking about, and figured out who had expertise in that area. And it turned out to be ridiculously successful for me uh, because after letting a few of our key guys buy in, within two years, one of our major shareholders left. And if I hadn't had those people on board, I, I'm not sure if we would have been able to move forward so quickly. Of course, we mentioned the... Atlanta Olympics, uh, where you guys got your start, but your website also says uh, you were involved in the Monica Lewinsky story? <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, that was when I was in the field back, uh, how many years that was, 1998. It was one of our defining stories when we had just started. The NBC Washington Bureau was covering Monica Lewinsky before we even knew her name, Ask us if we were available to come up and, and do some work for them. And so we were outside of the Watergate for about seven weeks during that entire story covering her and, and her movements working for Dateline and Today Show. And where do you see the company going from here? Uh, we're certainly trying to grow. Uh, like I said, including our our employees as partners has been really positive for us and where we see ourselves heading next is into additional market. We're doing a lot of work in Charleston and Columbia and Fort Mill is particularly big for us with everything that's going on in Charlotte. Perhaps if everything goes the way we want it to, we'd love to be in other markets like Virginia Beach or Jacksonville or maybe even Atlanta. I'm not sure. 
Patrick, for our listeners who'd like to learn a little bit more about this topic, what's your website address? It is www.gototemgototeam.com. Patrick, congratulations on the success of the company so far. and Good luck with everything going forward. Thanks for your time this morning. I sure do appreciate it, Mike. Patrick Bryant, one of the founders of GoToTeam, based in Charleston, South Carolina. Our score success story for this month. And because we were also impressed with Patrick's website, we think you are going to enjoy visiting it as our South Carolina website of the week. And so, that address is, once again, www.gototeam.com. And with the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer.